Welcome back to the Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. We are now joined by two more representatives, again, who both voted against. I'm calling it an historic ballot because it's getting so much attention across the country. Representative Dennis E. Williams, who is a Democrat from Northern Delaware, and Representative Stephanie T. Bolden, T. I'm told is for terrific, Stephanie T. <laughs> Bolden from Wilmington. You both voted against the bailout, sir. Let's start with you. Why? Well, this is the second annual one-time only bailout, and the casinos keep coming back. I just don't think it's appropriate to provide additional money when they need to make better business decisions. Uh, Dover Downs, for example, has invested in a restaurant in Georgia mm -hmm. while they're asking for more taxpayer money. Delaware Park has opened a casino in Ocean Downs, Ocean Downs in Maryland, just six miles south of the Sussex County border. So I, I think they need to focus more on attracting more customers to their existing casinos before they branch out and try to get money from the state. Which brings up an interesting point, and that is that they fight against competition too. Not only do they want to bail out, mm -hmm. but these casinos also fight against any more casinos coming in, which seems like a huge conflict if they're opening up casinos right along, right across the border. Is that, wor is that right? Well, you know, I, I look at it from a different perspective. Okay. First of all, Delaware had a monopoly on, on the casinos when they first opened, uh, and that was what, for 10 years they were here before they opened in Pennsylvania and Maryland and all these other places. So we had the chance to look at it, invest, and do some other things during that time. However, it's like you said, they opened up another casino in Maryland, and then now we have the restaurants that are in Georgia. We um, have had the opportunity to do more with what we had and I don't I, I don't think we've done what we were supposed to do with that and the reason I say this what, well, tell, tell me what you were supposed to do I, I think it should have been more investments in education in public safety and things of that nature so we could bring the cost down and then you could see people coming here we're always talking about jobs and everything the best thing number one thing people look for in moving somewhere are schools and Delaware does not have the best school system, so you're not going to get people moving here and businesses coming here if they don't have the schools that are available. A couple things about the bailout. And as I said in the first segment when I had Representative Potter here, I'm trying to figure out, because uh, it passed. It passed in, the, in mm -hmm. the House, it passed in the Senate. And so there was a lot of people that were for it. The governor was for <laughs> this. What is the reasoning behind that? Can you articulate the other side? Yes. The what, uh, most of the people voting for this bailout uh, have constituents in their district who may work for one of the three casinos. The districts either contain the casino or they're neighboring to that. So I can understand in a way how they're getting calls from their constituents on this. If you were not to bail out, and when I say you, I mean the collective you, I'm not talking, I know you voted against them. If, if you were not to bail out these casinos, more casinos would just come in, right? I mean, you are specifically helping certain companies, not an industry because there would be others to replace it, would there not? Well, for the casinos were put there to save the horse racing. And I, I think there's a compromise. We're looking at, uh, we want the casino in Wilmington, we wanted one in uh, Rehoboth, where the population has really increased. We need it basically for revenue purposes. So there's a compromise that could have been here. Put the other two casinos here. They Is that were, compromise off the table now? It's never going to be revisited? Well, it was, you can't it was do never it off. It was my compromise to give to them. <laughs> However, build the two casinos, and, and the compromise would come in where you'd limit it. You're only limited to table game, I mean to um, slot machines, and they could say how many. So then you still have Delaware Park that still has the table gambling and the horse racing. You still have Dover Downs that has that. You're letting Wilmington have the slot machines that basically, and it could be pilot to see how that works. But and you, then you, you give the same thing down there to Rehoboth you, because there has to be some kind of compromise. Well, I don't understand. You, you were right, on though. You were, you were right. Yeah. If, if those particular businesses, the owners of those businesses Would don't do work. well, someone will come in and manage them, and they'll manage them perhaps better. But and somebody keep all watching employees. this might think it's crazy to say we're going to bail out these failing casinos, maybe not failing, but not doing yeah. as well as they want to do mm -hmm. casinos, and then bring more in? We, shouldn't be, well, be, we should not be doing both. We shouldn't be bailing them out. And in fact, one of the other arguments you just asked of why that bailout happened is the casino said if we don't have the money we will lay people lay off, off people. which is why I put in an amendment to insist and require 
that if there are any layoffs, they'd have to repay the money. Unfortunately, that amendment didn't get through. And there was another amendment that was proposed that, that was never voted on, and that was to allow uh, members to be, to be members of the board on each casino as well as stock for the state in, in the casinos. Casinos are brought into states to bring in revenue, yes. not to take revenue. And so if they're going to take revenue back from you, why have them? in the first place. They're still contributing, but they're saying that they are contributing too much. My argument is that we've given them, since they started with slot machines to help the horse racing industry, mm -hmm. we've given them table games, mm -hmm. sports betting, uh, extended hours on Sunday, Kuno. Uh, online, online, Kino, online gambling as well, Kino. Kino. We have, as those rates have gone up a little bit over the years, I acknowledge that, but uh, when they first started, no one knew, especially with that monopoly, how much revenue they would be generating. And it was fair to both sides to increase that rate. The state should have been getting more. But as we've increased those rates, we've provided them with the opportunity through all of these things, through the sports betting and table games and everything else, and letting them keep the monopoly up to this point to make a continual amount of money. They've been making a lot of money for a long period of right, time. Right, and what do you say to another business? If I'm running a business and I come to you and say, you know what, I'm going to have to lay off some workers. Can you just bail me out? How do you, <laughs> how do you pick and choose industries that you bail out? We shouldn't. No, I, I, we shouldn't. I think we all agree. Yeah. I guess we, I, you know what, I'm going to have Representative Potter. The first thing <laughs> we'll talk to you about is to get you to comment on this when we come right back with the Delaware Way.